So here we are live on YouTube. शिवानी मैम हाँ जी इफ यू कैन जस्ट शेयर दिस लिंक अगेन इन द इन ऑल द ग्रुप सो दो आर नॉट एबल टू ज्वाइन जूम ओके रितिका मैम गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम टू द इवेंट हाउ यू ऑल गुड मैम हाउ यू चल रहा है Perfect. Your voice is breaking. Voice is breaking. Little bit, yeah. Shivani, ma'am, who other host um, host institutions have joined in? Uh, I don't know. Wait. Shivani, is this okay now? Can you hear me properly? Better, better. Yes. Okay. I think uh, at least uh, we can put a request to all the hosts. Comment log joining. In, I think uh, someone from where my college is here. Yeah. Um, uh, MLB anybody? college is here. Aren't yeah. you? Have you joined in? Government Law College has joined in already. Yeah. Government Arts College Mandal. I think Mala Ma'am. We got to wait. Mala Ma'am joined in. Here. No, I don't see her. Okay. Is Mala Ma'am here? I think even Anita Ma'am is not here. Anita, Anita Patel. Patel. We we need to put the request. RP Arts College, Ahmedabad. Where Ashani Tha Patel, ma'am is there. Okay, yeah, she's there. Anita, ma'am, ma good afternoon. Happy Women's Day. <coughs> Anita Patel, ma'am. Dr. D M Chandra Vaidya. Good afternoon. Welcome to the event. Wait, if you're not able to unmute, how will you talk? <laughs> Wait. No, I Anita Ma'am is a, Anita Ma'am is a very seasoned expert in Zoom meetings, you know. So I'm sure she will find some way out. I think you should have to log in again. Let us just check. She left the meeting. I think she'll log in again. Can we know if all principals are also here? We have Ritika Hinde, ma'am. Is Doctor Vaishish Dhar Dwevedi here? I don't think Dwevedi sir will join in. Uh, Anita, ma'am, uh, sir is joining in. Madam, good morning. This is uh, good morning. Good morning. Okay, ready. You come on, ready. Mani yes, Arla College principal. Yes, yes, yes. Namaskar, sir. Good morning, sir. Nice to, to have you with us today. Problem. I was a little bit late. No problem, sir. No problem. So Vijayta ma'am, good afternoon. Jalgaon joined in. I am Madam Dr. Yogesh Mahajan. This is Maniyar Law College. Good afternoon. Maniyar Law College. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the event. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. 
एलफिंस्टन कॉलेज जॉइंट है के बारे में कॉलेज का फी होता है मैं डायरेक्ट में लाइट पास कर रहा हूं मुझे तो Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now here. Yes. Very good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, Anita, ma'am. Yes, Happy Women's Day to all of you. Happy Women's Day to all out there. Shivani ma'am, we'll start in five minutes because then otherwise we'll not have much time. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So we are waiting for whom so I can message them. Ah, uh, one is Elphinstone College. One okay. is uh, Mandal College. Ah, oh, okay. ठीक है, ठीक है. छोड़ देंगे आर एन टी ओज एनी वन ज्वाइन इन भोपाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एक्सलेंस एनी वन ज्वाइन इन डॉक्टर मल्लिक इज देर Shivani, ma'am, we need to call uh, Dr. Malik. I'll just do that. Uh, okay. Yes. Dr. Malik, which institute? Uh, Institute of Excellence um, in Higher Education, Bhopal. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just do that. Two minutes. And then also we need to track our first speaker. will join by 12:30 everybody to talk to mics mute please i request everybody please turn your mics mute only when you have to speak please turn your mics on that time thank you participants please mute your mic only when you have a chance to speak or you have a question please then put your mics on unmute it Shivani and Dr. Savita Patel is joining in two minutes, so then we can start. Okay, super. Please excuse us. 
Uh, Priti ma'am, please uh, take our principal in the, she's in the waiting room. Yes, 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 ma'am, yes, ma'am, doing it. Requesting student participants to go to the YouTube link. Requesting student participants to go to the YouTube link, please. Because your feedback and certificate will be provided on the YouTube link. Student participants, please leave this and go to the YouTube link. This link is meant for the faculty members, those who have joined in. And student participants, you'll be getting your feedback and uh, a certificate link on the YouTube live. Kiwani ma'am, please share the YouTube live again. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll just do that. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Student participants requesting you to go to the YouTube link, please. I've just sent the link. Please join on this link on YouTube. So, Shivani, ma'am, I guess all the, uh, the uh, post institutions are there. Let us just first. Um, we start? And then we can start. Yes, ma'am. Should we start now? Let me just check whether uh, Malik, ma'am, are you there? Hmm. Dr. Malik? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Good afternoon. Um, Good afternoon, ma'am. Dr. Savita Pawar, ma'am, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Dr. Pawar, ma'am. Sorry for being late. No, no, no. We understand, ma'am. A lot of events are going on in other institutions. Yes. So, Shivani, ma'am, we can start yes. requesting all the host um, collaborators to keep the video on please this is required for our acknowledgement also and our documentation also and that will help our uh, very amazing photographer anita ma'am to click some nice pics yeah uh, ma'am my own is not working today so oh, sorry, okay so she only made it I am trying, but still, yeah, yeah. I think Arundhati ma'am also is volunteered to take pictures. So I think mm, Arundhati. Yes, yes. Yeah. Once again, student participants are requested to join the YouTube. Faculty participants are most welcome here. Those institutions whose uh, students are present on this, please uh, request them to go to the YouTube. Shivanima, we can start. Okay, super. Thank you, Preeti ma'am. Good afternoon, everybody. And uh, wishing everybody a very happy International Women's Day. We are all here today to on a National Women's Day on inclusion, representation, and influence of women on the internet community in India. This event is organized by Grand Academic Portal and Siangar College of Commerce, Mumbai. 
in collaboration with Elphinstone College Mumbai, Government Arts College Mandal, Government Law College Ahmedabad, RP Arts College Kambat, Rabindranath Tagore University Bhopal, RBYM Engineering College Karnataka, SS Maniyar Law College Jalgaon, Government MLV Girls PG Autonomous College Bhopal, Institute for Excellence in Higher Education Bhopal. To sum it up, we have 10 institutes together. Uh, we are inching towards a world that is diverse, equitable, and inclusive. A world where differences are valued and prejudices are frowned upon. A, where, a world where women share the diets with men, and rightfully so. On this International Women's Day, it's time to hear from women who have broken free from the shackles of gender biases, discrimination, and that have been ingrained in our daily life and work, workplace for a very long time. They've made it clear to the world that this is where they belong. Nobody can take their place. In communities, workplaces, industries, schools, universities, everywhere else, you will hear success stories about women and now even more on social media. Since the last two years when we were locked in, in lockdown, we saw a lot of social media and we saw how digital marketing, how social media grew and how internet grew bigger and better. We have women even present there. So the reason we have this webinar is focusing on women on internet community in India, how they are inclusive, they are represented and influencing other women and people of society. So before we begin, I would request Preeti Ma'am, the CEO of Grand Academic Portal, to felicitate all of the institutes uh, who are partnered on this webinar. Thank you so much, Professor Shivani, ma'am. And uh, again, once again, requesting all the participating institutions to request the students to join in the YouTube um, so that uh, at least they can take the benefit of the entire event. Uh, Vijeta, ma'am, is already here. Good. So, um, welcome you all to the um, All Women Brigade event of uh, International Women's Day on behalf of Grand Academic Portal, on behalf of the chairman, Dr. Gurudatta Japi, and the founding trustee, Dr. Jasmine Ma'am, I, Preeti Oza, welcome you all. And it's been always a pleasure to work with so many institutions, getting so many, uh, you know, varied uh, contexts, references, viewpoints, opinions. And it is always amazing to see the entire India um, on a, you know, small screen of uh, the laptop. And... Um, it's not only about getting people from across India, it is also about, uh, you know, connecting with diverse sensitivities, sensibilities, culture, opinion, temperaments. But finally, we are there today, uh, just the other half of the universe, but without that, the universe is never complete. So with this small note, I welcome you all. And Shivani ma'am, we, we can invite, uh, the collaborators to maybe say a few lines before we start. Sure. Thank you, Preeti ma'am. Thank you very much. Now I request the principal of Siangar College of Commerce to please uh, address all of us. Uh, thank you, Shivani. First of all, a very happy International Women's Day to everybody here. And uh, I'd like to welcome heads of various institutions and my dear participants. Uh, Siyagar College of Commerce is proud to collaborate with all the 10 national level institutions and Grand Academic, uh, Grand Academic Portal. It gives me immense pressure, uh, pleasure to be on this platform with such stalwarts. Every year on Women's Day, we are hearing, we have speakers who talk about how important it is to treat women as equals and how women are breaking, breaking stereotypes, which they are. Like the day before when we had the Indians uh, cricket team who uh, has won against Pakistan, or the CEO of today, General Motors, Bumble, YouTube for that matter, Nika, uh, in our very old con uh, own country, uh, are you know CEOs of such big firms. Uh, uh, for example, I went to this article that spoke about women pundits. So you know, marriages in India had been taking place throughout by a male pundit, and now these stereotypes are being broken by having a uh, women uh, priests who are doing so. So this topic of women and the internet community is especially close to my heart because it's my current, uh, I'm pursuing research on the impact of social media. And the more I read about it, and the more I know for a fact that the impact of uh, internet, social media, YouTube, Instagram, 
uh, impacts not only our life, but the way we think as well. Uh, India itself in the year 2020 had 518 million social media users and it's projected to reach 1.5 billion in 2040. 47% of the Indian population uses the internet. So today, just today in the Times of India, YouTube has given a full page ad that talks about the creator economy that is contributing 68,000 uh, rupees to the Indian economy every year. So uh, just imagine where, uh, you know, where this entire creator economy is a, a great platform where women can come and, you know, express themselves, especially Instagram. You know, it's uh, a decade where after Instagram was launched, it has evolved from being a cottage industry to a global juggernaut. Of course, because of all these opportunities available, uh, women think of it as an exciting platform for maybe a career option or maybe to express themselves. But of course, this comes with a gazillion issues, like women are trolled for everything. Uh, the way they look, uh, their body shapes, their body sizes, the way they speak, their makeup, anything at all, people will find some fault or the other. But at the same time, I also feel that social media is a powerful mechanism for bringing attention to so many women's issues worldwide. For example, no, 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 no. About them. For example the Me Too movement. And, uh, and of course, we have so many, you know, uh, uh, people around. Uh... Hello. <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> I think Madam has left the meeting. Yeah, I think there was a, there was a little network error. Oh. Okay. Uh... So um, maybe we can again invite. No, no, she's there. She's joining. In. She's joining. In. One minute. Um. Uh, so technical issues again. So again, I will. I'd like to move on to uh, all the speakers for the day and thank you for being here. I'll again like to welcome you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ratika, ma'am. Now we have another <clears throat> uh, Savita Pravar, ma'am, from Elphinstone College. Dr. Savita Pravar, ma'am, we'd like you to address all of us. Is Savita Pravar, ma'am, there? Yes, I'm very yes, much Yes, yes. Uh, uh, thank you very much for allowing us to collaborate with the other institutions of national importance. Uh, so I first of all uh, would like to congratulate you all, including me, for this International Women's Day. Uh, I'm head of the Department of English at Eastern College, and Eastern College is a uh, government college of Maharashtra, and it is uh, a common college the whole of State University movement. So uh, here I'd like to just share a few words with you all that at this time, living in present era, being a woman, we need to understand uh, our responsibility. And when we understand our responsibility, we need to... Uh, I think uh, there was a network cut out. Students, uh, if you are here, we request you to please join the YouTube link. We see a lot of students here. Students are requested to join on the YouTube link. You will be getting your message for certificates on YouTube. So students, you can log out from Zoom and go on YouTube. Shivani ma'am, this YouTube link we need to post on our uh, group also. What's the group what we have made? I think some of them are not able to get it. I will repost it here in the chat box. For everyone? No, those who are there out, they are not getting it. So I think we need to put one. Okay, super. I'll just do that. I'll do that. Too. Uh, I think uh, Savita Patel, ma'am, uh, this is a network fair show. So should we call upon the next? Uh... Let us wait, wait. Wait one minute. The admins of all the WhatsApp group, if you are here, could you please put a message on your group uh, that only students can join YouTube and uh, like admissions have to join on the YouTube. 
uh, on zoom sorry mera yeah we have dr savita patil back with us yeah correct ma'am savita ma'am Yeah, ma'am. There is no issue at our place presently. So I was just talking about our responsibility and knowing about our strengths first of all. Because once we know our strength, we'll not hesitate to be a part of the uh, male-dominated society. And uh, personally, I believe that all women uh, who are into teaching, especially in administration, they are capable of handling uh, many jobs at a time. so i appreciate qualities of women and once again i wish best luck to the organizers of this uh, webinar and thank you very much for calling me thanks thank you thank you very much uh, can we have uh, dr vashishtha devedi from arts commerce and science college kambhar to address all of us is any representative from that college here arts commerce and science college kambhar Anita, Anita ma'am, ma you are mute. I guess again, your audio is not. Anita, ma'am, I can't hear her, but I see her unmuted. Dwivedi, sir. Yes. Doctor Dwivedi. Arts, Commerce, and Science College, Kambar representative. Um, I think we can give them some time to sort out the issue. Can we, we invite? We have uh, yes, yes, yes from MLB College, Girls Autonomous College, Gopal, Dr. Mukesh Dixit. Um, Dr. Dixit, the uh, principal is in another program. So, um, I am Sima Rai Zada. okay yeah so i just on behalf of the college i extend uh, huge thanks to gap and um, the um, organizing all the organizing uh, committee members and thank you for giving us uh, this opportunity to be uh, to get connected to um, uh, not only the uh, to listen to the influential uh, women today but also get connected uh, to women across uh, these these states it is a happy uh, feeling to see people joining in from so many different parts of the country and uh, we too i mean this is a girls college all women's college with having uh, four different faculties and we we all realize the importance of internet the usage and the kind of interest that the young generation has for this this is something inevitable in their lives and it is more than that it has uh it has a tremendous uh, scope to change one's life to take life in a very positive direction so at this point in time we are all looking forward to the best use that can come uh, uh to our uh, you know especially girls we are talking here we on a on a women on women's day uh, but yes it is uh, it is um, uh, uh, a, a very uh, interesting thing to observe that um, how can we bridge the gap i mean I, my um, uh, submission today here would be as we discuss uh, and we hear the speakers today how to bridge the gap um, the gender gap in the usage of internet uh, uh, in the in present times so i um, hope to uh, hear uh, one of the wonderful speakers we have uh, roma gautam dr sonal pandya and uh, daniel gomes and um, you know looking forward to their views and my personal thanks to dr preeti oza for uh, having us all together on this platform dr uh, guru datta japi and dr jasmine uh, gujarati and not forgetting at all shivani dr shivani ahluwalia who has been so swift in her uh, bringing people all together on this wonderful platform so thanks a lot Thank and look forward to interacting here thank you thank you thank you seema ma'am thank you uh, can we uh, have someone from institute for excellence in higher education dr pragesh kumar agarwal are you here 
Dr. Malik also has joined in. Dr. Shivani, ma'am. Uh, yes, Preeti, ma'am. I am very much there. Uh, yes, Dr. Pragyesh Agrawal, I think he is trying to join, but uh, I think uh, the participants are more. Hundred participants. No, I think he has joined in. He has joined in already. Okay, okay, okay. Then, then, please. If you can put your audio, video both on, we can. thank you thank you so much ma'am uh, it's really indeed a great privilege for me to uh, be on this platform today on the auspicious occasion of uh, international women's day uh, so on behalf of institute for excellence in higher education bhopal madhya pradesh i would like to extend a very warm welcome and my and our best wishes to all the uh, most respected ladies uh, who have joined this forum today and uh, i wish uh, them the best not only for today but for their entire period of life and uh, it's really indeed a privilege for ieh bhopal to uh, be associated with uh, grand academic portal so uh, once again uh, thank you so much and we are really uh, delighted and indebted to uh, this forum for uh, making us to be a part of this pl platform today thank you so much thank you sir thank you so much for thank being you, thank you thank you very much sir uh we have dr krupa ben pandya from government law college ahmedabad yes ma'am yes ma'am would you we would like you to address all of us maya kundalani kriya madhumati kali kala malini मातंगी विजया जया भगवती देवी शिवा शक्ति शंकर वल्लवात्रिनयन वाक्वादिनी भैरवी परमयी माता कुमारी स्त्री वुमन दरेक ना जीवन में सौ पेला माता की ओख अपना दरेक ना जीवन में थे छे। ए संदर्भे आज समग्र विश्व में आज न दिवस इंटरनेशनल वुमन्स डे तरीके उजवी रो अपने सब साथ मड़ी ने ग्रांड एकडेमिक पोर्टल एक छत्र छाया वे कोलोबरेट थे बड़ी संस्थाओं पार्टिशिपेट विद्यार्थी अध्यापक श्रीओ तथा 
તમામ ડિગ્નિટરીઝ આજના આ દિવસે સરકારી લો કોલેજ અમદાવાદ વતી આપ સૌનું હૃદયપૂર્વક સ્વાગત શુભેચ્છા આભાર સ નમસ્તે થેન્ક યુ ઓલ થેન્ક યુ વેરી મચ થેન્ક યુ વેરી મચ મેમ સ્ટુડન્ટ યુર રિક્વેસ્ટ ટુ જોઈન બાય અર યુટ્યુબ લિંક ઓકે ઓલ ધ સ્ટુડન્ટ આર ગોઈંગ ટુ બી ઓન યુટ્યુબ લિંક એન્ડ ઓલ ધ એકેડમિક Uh, academicians are going to be on zoom i repeat all the academicians please stay on zoom and the students can join youtube uh now we have the next uh, government arts college mandal dr mala sharma dr mala sharma from government arts college mandal do we have uh, ma'am uh, ma'am is not available today she is in uh, che office today so okay. on behalf of her i thank you all shivani ma'am uh, preeti oza ma'am and everybody who participated and uh, give uh, give their cooperation and everything thank you so much thank you thank you very much hero ma'am uh can we have madhu mehta toshin गुड आफ्टरनून मैम सॉरी फॉर द नेट नेटवर्क इश्यू की वजह से सुनाई नहीं दिया ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ रविन्द्रनाथ टैगोर यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम मधुमिता तोशी फ्रॉम इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ नर्सिंग वुड लाइक टू विश टू एवरी वन वुमेन वेरी हैप्पी वुमेन्स डे एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक दैट वी गेट दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ज्वाइन दिस ग्रैंड academic portal and uh, we are celebrating this uh, women's day so in our university also there is a women development cell through which we are organizing uh, awareness camps and uh, recently we have a, a workshop or a seminar on the wo- women harassment in the workplace we can see that many in many workplaces women are harassed but they are not able to speak up so what are the uh, how we have to uh, go and what are the uh, uh to whom we have to talk about that so we have uh, organizers that also and uh, again i would like to thank that uh, we have got this opportunity to join you with our class thank you ma'am thank you thank you very much uh can we have dr hanumanta reddy from rymc college dr hanumanta reddy ma'am anybody from uh, rao bahadur engineering college karnataka dr reddy was there madam uh, dr reddy dr. has joined in yeah yeah dr reddy has joined in dr sai madhvi sai madhvi ma'am is also there dr sai madhvi network issue is again happening we can go ahead uh, shivani ma'am meanwhile if they join in we will just uh, i think uh, someone from i'd like to convey yes ma'am yes ma'am as from some science college yes uh, myself yeah i am dr rita patel on behalf of our focus in science college kambar uh, i would like to convey the blessings of our respected honorable trustee bankim shri bankim bhai vyas sir and respected principal sir principal vashishta devi sir they had conveyed their best wishes and blessings uh, for all the 10 colleges who has actively participated in the uh, webinar and of course a big thanks to grand academic portal and and its team for providing us such a nice platform thank you so much and wish you all good luck thank you thank you very much ma'am i think we just have one college left and then we can begin with our session I just want to confirm if our speaker for the next session, Dr. Uh, um, Daniela Gomes, has she logged in? The speaker for the session, Daniela Gomes. Yes, I'm logged in. Okay, super. So, can we have SS Maniar Law College, Dr. Yuva Kumar, ready to please address all of us? Dr. Ready, sir, from Maniar Law College. If Vijeta Ma'am is there, Vijeta Ma'am, you can acknowledge us, please. So, 
Shivani ma'am, I think we can continue as and when they join in. Maybe after the first speech, we can just acknowledge them and then ask them to yes, address done. the audience. So we are yes, done. so we can start with the first. Yes. Okay. So uh, good afternoon, everybody. We had all the institution heads who just spoke to us and acknowledged and felicitated for this group to get together. And uh, now we begin with the reason we all are here to so your three national speakers. So can I please request Anita Patel, ma'am, to introduce our speaker for the day, uh, Daniela Gomes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, very good afternoon to all the lovely ladies out there and all the august audience present on the floor. A uh, very happy International Women's Day after all the welcome notes and blessings showered on us. I take this opportunity to introduce our first speaker of the day, Ms. Daniel Cohn. Let me introduce the, our today's first speaker, uh, Ms. Daniel Combs, ma'am. Most dynamic and fit personality, social media influences and fitness trainer. Ma'am Daniel, she has, big, she has been big, bringing the fun into fitness since 2016. Get Fit with Daniela is a fitness business offering a range of individual and group out, uh, group, uh, group workout programs and fitness experiences delivered through in-person and virtual platforms and through on-demand programs. Proprietor Daniela Combs, ma'am, is an experienced fitness professional with core expertise in and uh, functional training. Danelia Ma'am's purpose is to help people understand that fitness is fun while teaching them to adopt a healthy lifestyle through sustainable everyday habits and self-awareness. She also believes it all starts with a smile. So let us start a day with a smile. We heartily welcome you Ma'am on the floor of GAP. Ma'am is going to talk today on Info obesity, the fat that needs to be trimmed. And we welcome you, ma'am. Floor is all yours. Thank you so much. Danilia, ma'am. Hi. Thank you so much for that introduction. I hope everybody is doing good. I hope you all can hear me and see me. If there's any issue, please let me know. Uh, I wish you all a happy Women's Day. And we shall begin. I would like to. Uh, you can share your PPT. There's a screen. Uh, I think you can go and share content. Already uh, done. Already done. Yeah. yeah. So you can you, you can pin share. can you pin the uh, person that's uh, sharing the video so that that comes and not my. Mom, I think you you want me to do it. I'll do it. Uh, yes, please. As you mentioned that. Yeah, I'll just give me a minute. Okay, please give me a minute. Yeah, no problem. We are already on the speaker mo uh, speaker and screen mode uh, for the view, so no problem. Uh, Daniela, you you can just go ahead. I think we'll be able to manage it from our side. Okay, so you all will be sharing it, right? No, you can share your screen. You can share your PPT. We have already uh allowed you. Okay, just give me a second. I was told that. Yes. Just give me a second. Yes, it is better you, if you control. We have already allowed you. Daniela, you, you take your time. No problem. Uh, just give me a second. I will log in from another device as uh, the PPT is on another device. Just give me yes, a second. Yes, no yeah. problem. Shivani, ma'am, now you are the host, so you can just check uh, with the um, admission of people and all. Meanwhile, I'll just put okay. some things yes. on the YouTube. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So we have Daniela back with us. Let's 
So, Daniela, you there? Yes, I have joined back. Just give yeah. me. So just a request, all students, please log in from YouTube and the teachers can stay on uh, Zoom. Yeah, we can see your screen. Okay. Can you hear me as well? Yeah, I can. Super, yeah, it's visible. Perfect. Super. I think, yeah, you can go ahead. Uh, Daniela, we're not able to hear you. Hello. Daniela, we're not able to hear you. A little technical glitch is always gone. So please. Is anybody able to hear her? Because I am not. Okay, I think she's joined in again. I think her screen was frozen. Yeah, I think the screen just froze. Get fit with Daniela. Are you here? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, yes. Okay, there was some network issue. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to share the screen again and I'm going to pick it here. We can see the screen. Okay, Instagrams. Uh, yeah, we can see it. Okay, great. Okay, so Instagram site, uh, the dark side to Instagram's booming fitness culture and are we women swallowed by it? Okay, work out because you love your body, not because it's the in thing to do, not because social body shames you into it, and definitely not because you hate it. Okay, a little bit about myself. I believe that you need to do what love what you do, even when it comes to your health and fitness. Okay, you heard a big introduction about uh, myself. So I'm going to just tell you a few uh, fun things about myself that maybe you will be able to resonate with. I didn't always know I wanted to be a fitness trainer. I studied BMS and I did my Montessori uh, teacher training and then I slowly got here. So take your time, figure out what you want to do and do what you enjoy in the end. Okay. I have always been active and I love dance. So this seems to be like the perfect, uh, fit, uh, perfect calling for me. Also as a fitness trainer, yes, I love sugar. I love coffee and I love watching Netflix. Okay, before we go forward, I want you to just take a few seconds, okay, to uh, check your posture, okay? Check your posture. Are you sitting upright? Are you slouching? How are you sitting? Okay, check your posture. Make sure that your shoulders are back and down. Make sure you're sitting straight ahead. Nowadays, with everything going online, we are sitting in front of our laptops sitting in front of our computer so often. 
that we are always slouched. We are on our keyboards. We are always close to the screen. So I want you to take a moment, sit back. We're going to do a few stretches. So I want you to stretch with me and remember to do these stretches even on other days. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I want you to put a reminder on your phone later. So first we're going to start with just doing a few stretches. So I want you to sit up straight and I want you to rotate your neck first from the right. Okay, so I want you to slowly rotate with me. We're rotating from the right. And now I want you to rotate from the left. You get that nice rotation. And you're sitting up tall. Now I want you to hold your head and pull and stretch that neck. Get that nice stretch, adjust where you need to stretch. And the other side, neck stretch. Adjust where you need to stretch, get that nice stretch in your neck, in your shoulders. Now I want you to join your hands, use your thumbs to slowly push that chin up, get that nice stretch. And now gently push your head forward. Okay, get that nice stretch in your neck. We're sitting so often in front of our laptops so that we don't pay attention to our posture and we tend to get neck, back issues. Now I want you to interlock your hands, stretch it forward, take it up and open your chest, get that nice stretch and arch forward. Two more times with me, stretch, open that chest and stretch forward. One last time, stretch and forward and relax. Okay, so now that you're with me, we're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna go forward. Okay, so I want you to put a reminder on your phone. Okay, to get up every hour and stretch. Okay, we forget so often. Uh, so reminder, check your posture every time you're sitting in front of your laptop, wherever you're working, take two, three minutes every hour to stretch. And obviously, you're going to forget it. So put a reminder on your and stretch. So Instagram, social media is great. Am I right? We all use it. We use it for, we get our information, we get entertainment, we use it for sharing uh, some things that happen in our life. We all use it, right? So, but unfortunately, it has its cons as well so i want you all to answer these questions whether it's in your chat box or if you're watching from youtube youtube just type in and answer these questions okay have you ever followed a trending diet okay answer these for me whether it's a, a chat or in the in zoom or on youtube just answer this have you ever followed a trending diet yes I know I have before I uh, in college, in school. Now, have you stuck to it for more than a month? So often we follow things blindly and we try and do a fad diet. We'll do it for a month. And then by the second month, we leave it, correct? Okay, keep those answers coming. I want to know, have you ever looked at an image on social media and felt bad about your body. Look at this, at some. I looked at a picture and thought, "Oh no, maybe I I want that body too." Have you ever looked at an image and not and have now? Have you ever looked at an image and felt gratitude for your body and thought, "Thank you for my body. Thank you for all that it's doing." How many times have you felt gratitude? So what is this toxicity that I'm talking about? And how do I know if I am a victim? So very often, if you're looking on social media, you'll see so many book trainers post before after pictures, right? This is a picture of my before after. But what happens is so often there's false advertisements that come up. How long does it take you to reach this? Might not be said in the post. There's no proper caption. So they might say in 21 days, Reach your, uh, reach your goal and they'll show you a picture. But this doesn't just happen in 21 days, right? It takes time. And will everybody get the same results in the 21 days? It won't. It takes time. Each person is different.
right? So the second one is posed image. When you look at a picture on social media, you will think, when you see a picture like this, you'll be like, oh, she's wearing a swimsuit. Oh, she's sitting by the pool. Oh, she's so toned. But these pictures give us false beliefs about our natural body. Our natural bodies have roles. We have stretch marks. We have cellulite. And that is not always shown in the media. So reality is about the poses that are camera angles. Pictures can be deceiving. So it's important not to believe everything that you see on social media. Another thing is that people post happy pictures. Everyone's posting pictures that that they are smiling in. So what do we, what does it give us the feeling of that person's always motivated? There is no struggle in getting to your goals. It gives us the feeling that our bodies are like Amazon, right? We ask this app in the next day, but in reality, you will not always be motivated. There will be days, and this is not only about fitness, this is about anything uh, any goal that you want to reach you will not always be motivated there will be hard days there is hard work that needs to be put in and nothing happens overnight you need to work hard every day it takes time and but if you put in the work you will get there another thing is fat diets meal replacements the fitness industry uh sometimes shares so much that is taking advantage of the people there's false belief that you will get quick and easy results for maybe drinking a milkshake or having a meal replacement and it leads to bad relationships with food and certain foods are given a bad rep like carbs are bad sugar is bad do not omit sugar omit carbs but that is not true you need to have a good relationship with food food is good food is energy it's just important to understand and create that balance. So now tell me, are you, have you ever felt this toxicity while scrolling through social media? You scroll and you feel bad or you look at something and you'd be like, oh no, I wish I was working out. Oh no, I wish I had that body. Oh no, I wish I was traveling like her. Have you ever looked at it and maybe suddenly felt like, oh, I want to look a certain way, so you starve yourself, or you want to look a certain way and you get angry and then what do you do? You just binge eat sometimes without realizing and then that makes us feel worse. So it's important to be aware. So how do we overcome this toxicity? Okay, sorry, give me a second. So... In reality, staying active has so many benefits. It is so helpful and it's, it improves our mood. You feel so amazing after the workout. It boosts energy, will energize to do the things that you, the tasks ahead that you have if you work out. It prevents diseases. It helps you to age gracefully and it definitely helps you to build confidence so you don't work out for any reason that the internet tells you work out for yourself work out for its benefits for how it benefits you so how do we avoid getting caught in this toxicity so there are certain things that i would like you to remember and do especially while scrolling unfollow accounts that are not uplifting or you don't feel are benefiting you. Be mindful of your thoughts while scrolling and be mindful of your self-talk. Whenever you feel like you're feeling low, be mindful and correct yourself and say not everything is true. You don't have to be like the person that is in the image. Another thing is start lifting others and start practicing gratitude for yourself daily. What not to do? Avoid spending hours on social media. Social media can take up so much of our time with, by unnecessarily scrolling and looking through a lot of garbage sometimes. So time yourself. Don't spend a lot of time on social media. And don't believe everything you see because as you've seen earlier, pictures can be deceiving. People only share their happy stories. So don't believe everything. And do not compare yourself to others because... Each one's journey is their own. 
Okay, so now if you are looking to start your fitness journey, here are a few tips from me to you. Understand what your goal is, why you want to, what you want, what is it that you want to reach? Okay, once you establish your goal, understand why you want to reach there. Okay, why is important. It will help you stay motivated on the days that you just want to give up. Third is choose a workout that you enjoy. Choose a trainer who you feel will understand your needs. Fourth is get an accountability partner who will help you and push you on the days that you just want to give up. Okay, an accountability partner will increase the percentage of you actually reaching for your goals. And the fifth one, most important, is start small. So often when we start something new, we go all in. First few weeks, we are all excited. And by the third week, we slowly start, start to drop out. So start small. Start with habits that you can and will be able to master. Okay. So I got something for you now. I hope you're excited. Happy Women's Day to all of you. And today being Women's Day, I have something for all of you attending this webinar. So I'm going to give away five Instagram live a four week program to uh, five programs will be free so i will tell you how you can enter this contest and every single person attending this program gets a flat two uh, two thousand rupees uh on uh the instagram live program so if you would like to join the program you can uh just send me a message on instagram so my instagram handle is get fit with Daniela rules for the competition if you would like to work out with me if you want to be one of the five who get a free workout uh, session with me you, all you got to do is follow my Instagram page comment why you want to stay active and tag three friends the image that you see in the PPT is up on my Instagram page just like it comment and you stand a chance to win uh, a four week training program with me so before i end i want to i want to leave you thing i want you to challenge yourself to uplift each and every other women in your life not only today but every day let's not only pick one day to uplift each other but let us be uplifting and praising of everyone every day so i want you to challenge yourself that whenever you go on social media or whenever you meet someone, if you have something bad to say, don't say it. But find something good to say, find something uplifting to say to each and everyone every time you meet someone or every time you see something that you like on social media, comment. Let's try and uplift each other every day, not only today. So I want you to wait. I want to wish every single person here today a happy Women's Day. I hope you have a lovely day and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dinala. It was a very good session and thank you for your time. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions? I think it was very lucid, everybody understood. And I think what's more important is what we've learned today, we need to love our body. We don't need to follow any facts that's there. We just don't need to think when we see something, you have to visit a proper doctor or something, don't follow any fat diets, exercises. Thank you, Daniela, for giving us this message today. And uh, we thank you for being a part of this webinar. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you. Thank you. Now we have another speaker with us, Dr. Sonal Pandya. Is she here? Dr. Sonal Pandya? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Super glowing and nice. Uh, can I request Dr. Anita Ma'am Patel Ma'am to please give Dr. Sonal Pandya's introduction? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. Yes. So, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, we welcome you, uh, Dr. Uh, today's second speaker is uh, Dr. Sonal Pandya, ma'am, and uh, she is a head professor at uh, Department of Communication and Journalism, 
uh, at Gujarat University. Our educational background is like bachelor's degree in arts, LD Arts College, Ahmedabad, bachelor's from communication journalism and PR journalism and public relations. Gujarat University, Masters from uh, Masters of Journalism Studies from Gujarat University, Masters of Philosophy from Mass Communication and Journalism from Gujarat Vidya Pit. And she has uh, uh, done her uh, doctorate from Mass Communication and Journalism from Gujarat University. And her skills and proficiencies are research, extension work, uh, academic administration, training programs and counseling and the list goes on and on and i would like to suggest some of her achievements since last two thousand since 2005 she was nominated nominated as a senate member of honorable governor yeah, since then, 2000, uh, from 2006 to 11, Executive Council Member okay. of Gujarat University. She is, she is also visiting faculty at Journalism and Audiovisual Department of Gujarat Vidya Pit Ahmedabad. She is also Board of Studies at MS University Baroda. And since 2009 to 2013, uh, uh, she was a facilitator of the Student Exchange Program with British Columbia University, Canada. She is also a mentor at UNICEF project. She is also associated with research project with SEWA, S-E-W-A. She is also designing committee member at building energy efficient project, B-E-E-P, which is uh, in cooperation with the project between Government of India and Swiss, uh, Swiss Confed uh, Confederation. And she has also contributed a lot for research work on Lok Sabha election 2014 for the newspaper of Denmark, a very multifaceted, uh, multifaceted personality. Gab family welcomes you, ma'am, on the floor. And ma'am is going to speak today on women's space and cyber space. We welcome you, ma'am. Floor is all yours. Well, Pandya, ma'am. Yes. Thank you for being <laughs> with us. And it's a pleasure seeing you on screen, ma'am. And oh, yes. um, lovely so to find you on Gab platform. And See um, you. It's a privilege to have you with us. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, madam. I am uh, audible to, I think so. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Okay. So uh, I, I don't have any PowerPoint presentation, but I wish that uh, you will uh, feel some power in my presentation with that hope. And secondly, uh, we are already meeting on cyberspace, so I don't want to go for any digital tax. I have a few points to share with you because uh, gender is may not be my area of expertise, but of course I, I will return the regular column on gender in papers and uh, it's always area of my concern as a teacher, as a woman, and especially as a development communication teacher. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, I am happy to and privileged to meet you all on cyberspace. Uh, on International Women's Day. So uh, my topic is cyberspace, uh, women's space in cyberspace. Uh, because we all know that uh, cyber communication started with the war innovation. And ultimately we are looking for the uh, peace and harmony from the social media. So we are uh, the 24 by seven, we are too much dependent on the social media. Uh, but uh, somehow uh, we are criticizing it. Uh, we are having a lot of uh, critical angle to see the social media, but we can't leave without it. Uh, we are uh, saying that media is a mirror of the society. So what kind of a collective face we can see of a women on media? I think that is a very big area of a concern. So in 1984, a PC Joshi committee report came while the portrayal of women in television and advertisements and a lot of uh, points they have highlighted for the objection that how and why women portrayal is a so stereotype. So while we are talking about the breaking stereotype, what is that stereotype and why media is also uh, focusing on that stereotype image. 
Uh, this is a very big question because while we are talking about the work, uh, it is a division of work traditionally, but with the changing role, stereotype is still uh, on and on. Uh, for example, if I'm talking about the advertisements, which is also coming on the social media and television as well, the role uh, of women is changing, but not the status. Uh, while we are talking about the Maggie advertisement that was started in 1984, uh, Hamlog was the sponsor program uh, which is started by Maggie. At that time, we thought that uh, this is not the Indian way of eating habits and nobody will eat like a ground warm food. But the way they started with the gratification, now Maggie is a part and partial of our life. My issue is status is not changing, situation is changing. So while we are talking about the present advertisements of a Maggie, we can say that sab log bachcha bol raha hai, mama bhook lagi hai. Mama working hai, modern hai, phir bhi, uh, we can say that mama bhook lagi hai, papa bhook lagi hai, nahi aaya. While we are talking about the advertisements which is given by the celebrity couple, Abhi bhi apko, we can say that Kajol was changing the diaper of a baby and Ajay Devgan is eating tobacco and riding the horse. So I think uh, this is the stereotype that situation has been changed uh, of a woman. Now she's cooking on the microwave. She's not making chapati. She is maybe making Maggie, but women is making the Maggie. So this gender stereotype is emphasized by the media today. Second, very important is uh, that is a woman portrayal as a super woman. You know, you are a goodness of everything. Uh, like the goddess, they are having six hands. So uh, you are very good mother, you are very good uh, wife, you are very good daughter-in-law, you, you are beautiful, you, you are supposed to be uh, very attractive looking. Uh, and that super women, if you are academically, I'm explaining the role of that superness, the new role of women added, but the old one has not deleted, exited. Uh, so uh, while it is a cooking, while it is a child care, while it is the taking care of the family members, you need the professional uh, competent women. Uh, so while the, the, you know the dilemma of the modern world is, you need the companion and cook together. The expectation for the partnership also and expectation from the women that you have not deleted the old role of a woman, but you added the new role. And that is a super woman that you are the perfect combination with the traditional values with the modern skill to live together. So this is a very common portrayal of uh, the women which we can see in the media. And uh, I think social media is also not so far about it. The third very important point is uh, our whole entertainment industry, especially, which is a too much of a, a matrimonial oriented. Aap koi bhi serial le lo, two third of our jo storyline hai na, wo aurat ne agar sh wo shadi karna chahti hai, to kar nahi paati hai, uh, family allowed nahi karti hai. अगर शादी हो गई है तो वो शादी को निभाने के लिए स्ट्रगल करती है अगर शादी टूट गई है तो उसके लिए रोती रहती है मुझे लगता है कि अवर मैट्रिमोनियल इंस्टीट्यूशन इज सो डोमिनेंट इन अवर एंटरटेनमेंट इंडस्ट्री एंड वुमेन इज इन द सेंटर ऑफ द एवरीथिंग सो इफ यू आर प्रोफेशनली क्वालिफाइड नोबडी इज आस्किंग द टॉपिक ऑफ योर रिसर्च नोबडी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट योर हॉबीज जनरली व्हाइल यू आर यंग it, the, the very common thing that whether you are married or not and matrimonial institution is so dominantly uh, uh, we can see the portrayal in our entertainment content uh, that if I marriage institution will be out of our storyline will be out of our storyline so this portrayal bad, and that's why women herself is accepted the value that I born for the uh, a marriage and my marriage is a fail, then you say that, oh, my life is bad. And this portrayal of uh, marriage breakup is very dominantly highlighted by our marriage institutions. Uh, the 
Fourth, very important, is uh, beautiful. While in 1994, Miss Universe and Miss World, Sushmita Sen and Aishwarya Rai, I wrote one paper about that, that while you are saying that if you are tall by this much, your neck is like that, your feature is like that. So you are the most beautiful women in the world. Uh, so it, it's a violation of a human right because with what beauty I suppose to want, that is not in my control. While you are talking about the gender right, that God didn't ask me that with what gender I suppose to bone. So with what beauty I suppose to bone, that is not in my hand. So you can't discriminate the person with the, their uh, appearance. So while we are talking about the beauty, you can see that the, uh, even in social media also, you know, all the black women, they are using filters while they are posting their pictures. If we are a brown skin people, why we are not accepting that we are brown? You know, 90% uh, of the matrimonial advertisements in the newspapers and in cyberspace all need the fair women. So, and that's why our fair and lovely is saying, if you are fair, then and then you are beautiful. You know, the hidden message of the fair and lovely brand is, if you are fair, then and then you are beautiful. So the beauty aspects, and not merely the beauty aspects, but the appearance aspects uh, of the beauty is also highly uh, influenced by the Western world. We are talking about the uh, uh, Indian culture and Indian society. But if you are very slim, if you are very tall, uh, then and then, and the previous my resource person talked about the health of women. Health is very important, but it, why always it leads to the beauty of a woman? If I'm healthy, it automatically I may look beautiful. So this is the very, very important uh, thing. By uh, portrayal of women in the media, we can see that uh, beauty aspects is highlighted in a, such a way. And not merely the beauty, uh, 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 but the Western way of a beauty, which is... Uh, uh, portrayal in a major content of the media. You can see that in the newsreader also, they are coming with the blazers. I say that while you are wearing the blazers, we are having temperature of 47 degrees to 45 degrees, but the BBC newsreaders are wearing blazers. So uh, even in the vernacular press also, you can't come with the bindi. Why? Because the uh, internationally, people are not coming. So these are the uh, portrayal we can see uh, in the media. As far as the uh, social media is a concern, a recent some study has been conducted that uh, how many uh, women are able to use the social media platform. Uh, we know that uh, after the uh, new media technology, a lot of exposure is getting to the women. So uh, while we are saying that uh, uh, social media uh, uses, so 37% of the total use of women are able to use the social media platform. So uh, still uh, it is dominated by the male members. Not merely that, if you are looking the profile pictures of the women, Either the profile pictures of the recently that uh, study is also conducted that either women are posting the pictures with the husbands and with the child. It is nothing is a good and bad about that. But if, if you are comparing the ratio of the male members, they are with the ties, uh, they are with the etiquettes. So uh, you are there to communicate your matrimonial status the same way you are communicating uh, whether you are a mother or not. So it is not that uh, projection of a motherhood and uh, projection of a matrimonial status is bad, but that is a hidden mindset of the women herself that while I am on screen, I have to be there either with my matrimonial status and my motherhood status. So uh, the survey is also conducted in that area also. The very important point that I would like to highlight here that you know that while we are talking about the women in India, uh, we can't generalize our own experience in the uh, as a truth because 
which we, Indian women we are talking about. So in the media also, uh, for example, uh, those who are, we can see the beautiful girls on the screen uh, who are reading the news, who are coming from the various serials and entertainment industry, but they all are coming from the elite urban class. So while we talk about the women, which women, how many tribals women, how many SCST women are able to have a space in media houses, including the social media uh, platform as well. Because uh, in India, we are living many centuries together. So uh, some women are is in 22nd century, but we are living that majority. The status of the women जो है उसमें सारी का पल्लू हमने बहुत अच्छी तरह से डेकोरेट किया है पर उसका पोत है वो फटता जा रहा है तो हम जो अब कलेक्टिव स्टेटस देखे फॉर एग्जांपल हेल्थ आई वाज जस्ट रेफरिंग द हेल्थ स्टेटस ऑफ द वुमेन रिसेंटली दैट 2 मिलियन वुमेन्स आर विजिटिंग द एम्स वैली एंड आउट ऑफ दैट 2 मिलियन वुमेन ओनली 37 परसेंट ऑफ द वुमेन आर द getting treatment in the aims so i think this is the very important thing that uh, it's not that women are very healthy and not going to hospital but discrimination is there and first of all we have to accept the discrimination first uh, secondly uh, in the uh, on screen uh, ownership also in facebook for example what purpose uh, women are using the social media you know not for the political view, not for the participation in economic activity, for the shopping. So women are the consumer, but women don't have a say uh, while it is a political projection. Gujarat is considered to be the safe state in India, even though only 10% women are in our assembly. Uh, even journalism also, uh, uh, what kind of a story women are doing? Soft story, beauty, homemaking, what about the political interviews? No. What about even commercial views? After budgets, how many women experts are coming about the national budgets? I think very few. So uh, this is the very important thing while we are talking about the portrayal of women in social media is concerned. The, my last very important point regarding the social media platform is that uh, what kind of a general neutral words that we are using? I was just doing the content analysis of the emojis. You can see that, yeah, okay, for okay, we are using it. Do you think this thumbs is the thumb of a woman? It is not, a, it is a dominated by the male characters. So while you are using the various symbols in the social media, how uh, uh, sensitive we are to use the various symbols which is uh, gender neutral. I'm not saying that it is look like a woman but even gender neutral. Uh, how many gender neutral vocabulary that we are using? We always say chairman. Why not chairperson? Why postman? Why not the postal worker? Why mankind? Why not humankind? Why, why not sales, why salesman, why not sales representative? Uh, or, uh, while we talk about the language, while we talk about the symbol, I think uh, social media is a truly mirror of the society. Uh, the representation of women is always there. We are sharing uh, uh, their uh, space, but not the equal space. Right, uh, they are uh, in household work also. We have seen that in the modern world also, male are helping but not the sharing. The same way we are there on social media, but in the space also, women is not able to share the equal space in the cyberspace. Mao Tse Tung told that Nari jo hai wo aadha akash or ke khadi hai. मुझे लगता है कि जो साइबर्स कम्युनिकेशन का आधा आकाश है वो भी विमेन को मिले द इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी मेड आवर वर्ल्ड वेरी स्मॉल वी कैन गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन व्हेन एवर वी नीड वेयर एवर वी नीड लेट अस मेक दिस स्मॉल वर्ल्ड इज ब्यूटीफुल वर्ल्ड एज वेल एंड विदाउट 
the help of women if women is not equal is women is backward then country will remain backward now we have to decide whether we want to remain backward or we have to think for the women's right and media is a fourth pillar of a democracy and equally the catalytic agent for the change so i think uh, uh, for the development for sdd goal also women participation is uh, reflected in seminars and workshops and books in the action also we need that wo subah kabhi to aayegi with that uh, equal participation looking forward in the cyber space thank you so much any questions and comments i am looking forward to it thank you thank you very much ma'am does anybody have any questions no questions just observation and lot of admiration with which uh, dr pandya has you know put so many things together ma'am absolute you know observation when we when you are looking at um just a small thing like a thumbs up emoji i mean we have never thought about it that this could never be a thumb up of a woman correct and um amazing to have you with us so many thought provoking ideas i mean we are not looking at answers the best thing what we can do um on this you know platform is to raise some right kind of questions and ma'am you have done that amazingly thank, thank you, you. So thank you so much there's a to meet you on cyberspace i hope that we will meet personal very soon thank you so much to the whole team of gap especially uh, dr jappi and you priti thank you so yes, much thank you the pleasure ma'am thank you thank you thank you very much ma'am uh, now can we have anita ma'am to introduce our next speaker anita ma'am shivani ma'am time to remind the yes, yes ma'am yes uh, ma'am attendance link also yeah so all the participants just give you a one reminder so first thing all the students are supposed to join on the youtube link teachers will be on the zoom platform we'll be sharing a feedback form with you so on the basis of feedback form we'll be will be getting a certificate at least it does i don't mean to say that you'll be having to give us good feedback only then we'll give you certificates but feedback is the mark of your attendance so yeah of course when you give us good points we'll really like it too so fill the feedback form and that's considered to be your attendance for the session and anita ma'am we request you to uh, somebody yes, uh, raise their hand yes. ashwin kumar you have raised your hand roma ma'am i think hold on for a minute no oh, i have a question mistake. to ask i think that is by like... okay there's a high five okay fine okay that was not a question okay So Anita ma'am can you yes, please ma uh, yes. introduce her? Yeah so today's third speaker Roma Gautam ma'am she has recently started her mommy slice of life content creation journey on Instagram loves to keep her content fun and reliable by qualification she has done her graduation in mathematics from Merinda House Delhi and mba from christ university bangalore with over 9 years of rich experience of being a seasonal sales professional she has worked with well known and established brands like make my trip american express sbi cards and sap at present she is enjoying being a stay at home mom uh, to her 4 years old daughter who is type 1 diabetic kid and needs her mom a slight a little extra attention roma ma'am she also enjoys reading non fiction and find swimming rejuvenating her love for being on stage especially during her growing up years fueled her spark to attempt content creation and instagram uh, we welcome you ma'am on the floor of gab roma ma'am she is going to talk on reaching reaching social media with anti social challenges all the floor is all yours ma'am thank you so much anita ma'am for a lovely introduction and uh, to everybody on the panel who have stayed this long i think i appreciate your patience i promise you i'm the last person i won't take that long time for you all um so so before me dr pandya i think uh, she raised such hard hitting questions about the space we live in and you know all these external variables who who condition us like who we are how we behave in our system 
and i think i think uh, it's a fantastic way to really ask these questions ourselves at various intervals to see like where we are heading as individual entities as society so so definitely it's like a it's like a, a good thought process to really have on but i would like to build upon it uh, before like begin with my presentation Uh, so dr pandya spoke about a lot of external world like how external variables impact you i'm going to talk about how my experience on social media platform impacted me on an intrinsic level like on my mental health on my emotional well being okay so uh, could could i please have my content on the screen uh, roma i think you can share it you have the share content option uh one second uh that would take me a minute hope that is all right oh yeah that's okay one second um Shivani, I'm logging from my phone, and I think I'm having some glitch in terms of uploading this document. Is there a way that you can do it? Because if I huh. do it on my, it will take a little bit longer for me. Huh. Just a minute. Just a minute. Hmm. I'm trying it also parallelly, but. Sorry, guys, for this hold up. I know it can be a bit annoying, but I am trying my best. I think you mailed it to me, na, Roma. One yes, second. Yes, I did. I did. I can WhatsApp you if that helps. Right. Yeah. Shivani, ma'am, I have uh, taken the hosting back, so you can share right now. No problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing it. Just a minute. Okay. So by while the content is getting uploaded, um. So I'll tell you. So before I talk about how I started my journey, um, you know, on uh, social media as a content creator, uh, I would not to talk. Uh, I want to talk about like, like how I felt as a consumer, you know, of uh, digital content across different social media. Uh, my my struggle with social media sort of started during the pandemic time. when uh, you know the life came to a standstill uh, we were loaded with chores and uh, you know there was uh, there was like hardly much to do apart from just you know day in day out of you know monotonous work around and social media and different online entertainment platforms they were the only moments of happiness or moment of escapism we could feel so and i felt for approx i i felt that i struggled with social media's addiction i want to emphasize on this word addiction for a subsequent amount of time i wouldn't say it was intense but it was significant enough for me to really think through that that it is definitely impacting me somewhere like for example i had so whenever like i would sit down for like my 10 minute break or a 15 minute break or just want to have my chai or a coffee at peace i would become very restless without my phone in my hand like i would want to constantly keep on checking what is happening to me and uh, like what is happening around in my friend circle what others are doing or what what other people whom i follow they are doing what is happening around me uh, so we can mention that you know we when we go to social media we really keen to look for fashion and all those beauty enhancing elements you know it could be fashion it could be makeup hair skin care health whole genre so so i kept on getting into that loop where where um, i felt that that became a sort of escapism for me from my real life like from from the real thing that i was being in and as a result i felt that i was neglecting imagine so now like i'm sitting with my daughter uh and you know i'm reading some stories to her and doing some activities with her but at the backdrop no le jaun the kid i think there's a little network issue from her side um roma you not Can't hear you, Roma, ma'am. We can't hear you. I think you'll have to log in again.
So we will wait while she comes back. I think she is visible, but uh, you have stopped her screen. I guess she one minute. One second. Am I audible now? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, I don't know. Like where suddenly. Uh, uh i lost my track of content okay no problem so i'll start uh that i want to talk about the issues i faced as a consumer of digital content on social media because it it made me realize that uh, uh this whole digital space is so consuming for anybody and across ages even across gender that it needs to be addressed um and this experience of me having struggling with consumer related addiction it helped me a smoother journey for my content creation journey okay so so i would have like consumer related issues like i would feel very restless without my phone like during pandemic i am like having a bare minimum of like a 10 15 minute break to myself and you know like i would feel where is my phone i just want to check what is happening like who is doing what and you know after watching all that content i would compare myself with others like am i doing good enough or they are having it so well i am not having so called perceived good life and as a result i was you know like feeling not good about myself i would feel that you know i'm neglecting my personal life so called personal life in reality if if i would evaluate today uh i felt that it was it was it was reasonable like with my scenario but because i'm feeding myself so much of content which is making me compare to myself the outer space so i was questioning my own own space altogether so so this this definitely made me realize that um, i need to take certain actions and i did okay now with this basis when i decided that i want to go towards a content creation journey i knew certain checks and places definitely where i would not want to have that kind of addiction getting back into my system but i realized content creation journey has its own different kind of challenges which is largely related to around again questioning yourself from your capability of creating quality content because you're always comparing yourself that how your peers are doing or or you know how the bigger names in the space are doing you are you are constantly thinking also about what to make because the moment you get into a rhythm you are feeling the pressure that you know i have to keep producing quality content on consistent basis uh, i kid you not um, in the initial period it looks very fun but after a certain point of time if you do not have a plan in picture if you do not have a strategy in place it will feel strenuous it will feel like something and nobody is putting this pressure on me i kid you not okay uh, nobody is telling me to do this it is all self inflicted pressure on you and when you when you submit all those those content and when you know when people respond to it uh, when people say good things you feel on top of the world when when somebody say gives you a, like a feedback just a feedback criticism no criticism harassing no harassing you just start you know evaluating as some kind of a validation okay so so as a result you're constantly validating yourself externally which is which is the question mark which is the biggest question mark in the space as we speak today because if no matter whatever you are doing like if it's a job or you are doing something of your own or if you are an artist whatever the the whole concept of seeking external validation is a spiral it becomes a snowball so big that you 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 feel that you know i need to cut the cord and really assess the situation what is happening around me so once i identified these struggles that i was having i want to harp on that how i felt on a not uh, how i felt not in very intense emotions but various degrees of emotions so my first uh, issue became like my disturbed sleep pattern because i was watching and i was doing things um with with so much of rigor that i felt that i could not sleep properly like before sleeping i think that i would scroll or i would look at something only for maybe like like 10 to 15 minutes but those 10 15 minutes of scrolling would happily stretch up to 2 hours and i would end up sleeping at 1 and that sleep also is not peaceful and then the whole next day is a is a menace at hand so so you are basically harming your own bodily function subconsciously second intense emotion that i felt was negative body image 
now dr pandya said that uh, you know we as society very very uh, uh, you know tilted towards a certain set of defined beauty standards who defined it nobody knows is anybody questioning that maybe the, the dialogue is happening now but the status quo remains to a large extent same so so when you look at you know your peers who are in certain shape who are with certain looks uh, and and you feel that you know this is what i'm setting up myself against obviously you will going to feel not see obviously i'm saying because that's the first thought that comes into your mind but then you have to process that thought and and really question that you know in the larger run it doesn't make it doesn't make sense because these are variables outside your control but yes you do i in fact i for the longest time i did feel a body image issue like i'm not thin enough or i'm not tall enough or my facial features are not these xyz things my hair is not good enough you know just want to make a joke um you know uh like like since 10 years i've been thinking i'll lose 10 kg in my life you know like it has never come to fruit but look at the extent of conditioning with you know being weight obsessed being a certain body type obsessed you know it is so deep rooted in all of us it's like almost like a joke which we all say within our friend circle and we laugh about it but nobody says that you know to a large extent it does bother you like why do i have to lose 10 kg i don't want to lose 10 kg my biomarkers are all fine i am good to go i don't really want to fit into that maybe like a 26 or 28 weight jeans i'm perfectly fine in my skin but that has taken some time me to really process and today i feel comfortable in whatever size i am and uh, uh, it takes some kind of maturity some kind of wisdom to really come up that curve um another couple of uh, you know i also felt emotion like fear of, of fomo now when i say fomo it's in a very um, not in a very obvious way uh it's more from like a like a like a thing to fit in uh you know like what your peers are doing for example like i will talk about this particular trend okay kachcha badam oh my god i cannot say enough that i used to hate that song but you know when you see peers getting peers like doing that kind of a content i question myself that for the sake of being trendy for the sake of being able to fit in or for the sake of being able to get more so called followers for me i cannot deviate or probably dilute the kind of con- content i want to make and uh, so this understanding i have now but then yes fomo is definitely real like the like you really want to fit into the space to find that kind of acceptance the find to find that kind of validation in your life um i also struggled even in to large extent i think this particular uh, emotion that i'm going to talk about concentration issues i still have it and i'm still working on it because uh, when i say concentration issues is like you know my like i i feel that i am not completely present in the moment um like if i'm doing something my mind is always running somewhere else it's always running like what is happening with my xyz xyz pieces of things to do um it's i'm not saying it's something very serious but all i'm saying is that the ability to be present in moment especially in the times when you are so stimulated with new with negative news around with with the kind of information that you are feeding in with the kind of conversations you have concentration does become a challenge then now if you if the issue that i'm talking about if the feeling that i'm talking about uh, if, roma yeah i don't think we can hear you this is little audio crack uh, is anybody can anybody hear me yes ma'am we can hear you yes yeah, ma'am okay yeah, yeah. okay Perfect. Okay. Now, because of my these, uh, um. Okay. One second. Let me change my setting. Is it okay now? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. One second. 
so next um issue that i felt was uh, you know obviously like when you are being so messed up in your head in such complex degrees across different periods of time you do feel the stress building up you do feel uh you know when you are not in control of the situation that you know you are losing it you're not doing a good job either at a personal friend or personal front or in terms of the deliverables you have so so in totality living just imagine the mind of a person who is living with all these complex um uh, you know intense emotions like how 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 happy do you think that person can be so so i realized that you know there are certain change management practices um people or probably not just women but people in general should adapt no matter whether they are um, consuming social media information or or uh, you know whatever space they are in uh whenever you feel that you've been pulled into something make an effort to nip it in the bud how i did like i immediately deleted like when i was when i was feeling completely addicted to social media as a consumer during the uh pandemic period like i deleted the app i deleted all social media app i even deleted youtube like i for for a week and day i did not do anything i told my friends and family that you know like i'm feeling being pulled in so they help me so reach out to people have real conversations make them feel that you're you need some kind of a help it's not that you know you're being uh you're not you're losing control but just be aware see when you know a problem is there half the solution is already done so uh you know like you have to reach out to people tell them sometimes they can give you great guidance also how to do about it after that i practiced a rigorous amount not rigorous but i would say religious amount of self care like i i baked in a routine for myself and after i like the when i realized that my routine is set then i introduce like whatever amount of social media uh exposure that i want to bake in into my routine and from there i realized that okay this is how i'm going to approach now now for anybody who wants to be on social media as a content creator or you are also going through a similar scenario that i have went through um i want to drill down couple of things specifically regarding to social media okay that see there there are these brilliant minds probably the best minds on planet who are creating this kind of system and this the system is meant to make you feel glued the system is designed in such a manner that it wants to pull you back uh, i'm not questioning their um, moral or probably their ethical responsibility here but yes okay the system is designed to do like that uh, but it is to your prerogative that whether you give over that control to them okay second i would say that uh, you know we all say that you know this is what we what we see on screen it's not real it's only part real but it's very hard to really internalize the the gravity of this statement that you know it is just a partial reality sometimes it is fake also like it's like like it's a switch on like you just have to act to be superior this this amazingly happy person or this amazingly uh you know having an awesome life so it is it is like it is it is definitely a uh, uh you know like somebody is forcing you to believe that this is a reality which is not so so this is i feel my biggest take take away from um, my experience that don't believe everything on the face value whatever you are being shown as and lastly uh with social media see it's a business when when all these ins- when all these social media platforms were created uh they were promoted as global like a platform where people can come together they can share their experiences etc but the underlying motive was also to monetize it no business will ever come to existence without having an objective of monetizing it right so so if you want to be a content creator on on any of the platforms please realize that do not associate your self worth your your well being or you know your ego like you know you are a celebrity etc with social media if you can make money out of it fantastic if you're not making money out of it do it for a joy do it do it do it with a self sense of purpose in terms of informing people but anything but do not associate your whole being okay and uh, my two cents on how to go about like you know how like my 
way forward how i approach it as of today so i have made a vision board that what i expect in my life in my present scenario because i'm not working i cannot foresee myself to go back to my work in the next few years so what is my vision board with my creativity um at present so i have made that effort in terms of what my hopes and my desires are what is my where is my capability lies what i am willing to learn what i am willing to let go etc so have your own unique um mental map of you know what you aspire to be then specifically from a social media i feel that people uh you know when they they try to be a celebrity or when they try to get followers you are losing the whole sense of uh the purpose of being on social media because uh you know try to build a community where people can people can you know um uh, probably like share and be more authentic and genuine rather than feeling like okay you know i want followers in today's time people can think for themselves people can you know people can ask you the right questions so so followers in itself is 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 like a misnomer now so community i feel is a better word because you are bringing a certain like minded set of people together for a for a common objective and and see where to take it forward from there and this is how my this is my, how my approach also when i create my community whether big or small i will continue to do what i intend to do in the manner that i think it is justifi- justifiable for me and um, and keeping the quality in place and lastly um enjoy the process over you know like really bothering about what the outcome is going to be plan well uh i think this part i would definitely emphasize a lot because i do my planning a week in advance i feel i feel more control in my way i feel um uh, uh you know like i i also keep some room for um um uh, you know some contingency etc so the more you plan the more you can feel in control of the situation the more thought you have given like you have sat on certain things and really evaluated whether this this falls into your uh, uh priorities or not so planning will help you do everything that you feel fit for your um, objective at hand and this is pretty much my take is going to be and uh, like uh, you know like we all say that uh, you know you the control variable we see is always internal like it always starts from internally and then only you put it out there in the world and that's why i would say that it's just 20% that life happens but 90% is what you make out of it thank you open to any questions i'm sorry for the, um, the sound glitch and uh, happy to repeat anything or um, whatever uh, is required thank you thank you thank you roma ma'am i think it was real content creator because only content creators can hold their phone like on a selfie position and they can talk because teachers are usually used to keeping their phones in front of us and talking so thank you very much thank you for your valuable insights i think the story that ma'am said i think we all relate to it uh, how addicted we got uh, we are still addicted to phone and how much we need our phones in our hand and instagramming and things i think there's a lot of lesson that we learned it was very relatable so does anyone any have any questions here okay i think everybody is hungry over here <laughs> so i think no questions so uh, teachers and students teachers on zoom platform there's a feedback form for you and students on the youtube platform there's a feedback form for you kindly fill the feedback form only then will you get your certificates thank you uh, roma ma'am thank you all the participants thank you academicians thank you institutes who collaborated with us today thank you for making this event such a grand success thank you everybody bye bye see you so much for having us thank you bye bye shivani ma'am thanks to you also for all your efforts thank you, you thank so you. hard yes thank you thank you thank you, thank you so much priti ma'am thank you so much thank you seema ma'am thank you thank you thank you very much thank you very much goodbye